everyone, and welcome back. I'm on my way right now to pick up a finish mower to pull behind the Farm Hall M so we can mow those pastures up at the farmhouse. Well, I just picked it up, got it tied onto the trailer. What a nice place here. It's a big, uh, like a horse farm. And uh, they had some big, beautiful barns on here. There it is. All strapped down to the trailer. Later on I'll get this thing unhooked and uh, pushed off the trailer and I know nothing about it. I mean it's pretty looks pretty simple on how to hook it up to the tractor but I've never had to run anything on the PTO or anything so it'll be a quick little learning experience. Look out, Joni. You're gonna get smushed. In that part one video that I posted, when we did the maintenance on the farm all M here, Kenny Kizzel, who's the guy that knows everything about tractors, told me to make sure that I uh, greased the water pump. I didn't even know that there was a Zerk fitting in there for it, so definitely going to give this some grease. this far into it right now and keep in mind this is my first PTO driven anything running on a three-point uh, I don't know since I was probably 12 years old and we didn't have a three-point then but I would at 11 years old I got to drive the Minneapolis Moline around and and run stuff but uh, I'm not you know I didn't have to hook anything up and what's wrong here after I do what everybody else does I just watched a couple of YouTube videos and the shaft is not expanding and contracting. It's stuck. So I need to get that unstuck, crank on it, or I saw you can put a pulley from this to something solid and crank on it and see. They did say it was a brand new shaft, so I think it was just put in last, last year. So anyway, I and, I and this tongue here is going to have to come off the tractor because you can see if I drop it down it would hit on there. So it looks like it's just uh, one bolt here, and then um, I could just pull that out. I won't need it. This thing will just kind of hang there. So anyway, I need to get this to expand and contract before I can do anything. I've got about an inch and a half to go before it clicks in. If it would click, like when I raise up, if I get it to click, I could lower it, and that would pull it apart by itself, but I can't get it enough to click.
did it. Tonight, I'm not going to get it going. Um, I can get the shaft to go on here, but when I push it forward, I cannot get it to click into this groove right here on this overrunning clutch. And the reason why is, you know, this spline matches the PTO spline. And if I don't know if you can see it right there, it's just been used and it's crooked. They're not straight anymore. So it won't get right on there. And I mean, I could pull it off to pull these. You have to pull the Zerk fitting that's on each side. And then there's a roll pin in there that I've got to beat out and then this will slide out. But I'm, uh, and then I could just hook it up to the regular shaft, but with this being a transmission run PTO, I really think it's important to have the overrunning clutch on here. So when I push in the clutch, the tractor stops and the blades from the mower don't keep pushing me along. So this is only about a $50 item. I'm definitely going to pull that. I don't have the roll pin punch that I need to pull it out right now. So I will, uh, in the next day or so, I'll stop by and pick up a new one. They have them at uh, some of the stores here. They stock them. And we'll put a new one on, and then we'll get this baby fired up and see how it works. But it's a little bit after 8 o'clock at night right now, and I just don't feel like going on any farther. <laughs> we'll come at this uh, another day. Is that okay with you, Nell? How about you, Joni? Okay, guys, well, it's, I don't know, it's a few days later here, and I did get the new overrunning clutch that I need for the tractor here. There's the beauty right there. So now we'll just see how hard this is to replace. It doesn't look like it's going to be too bad, but I know my luck. I had to buy a set of roll pin punches to get this pin out and the set of punches is <laughs> half the price of the overrunning clutch. You can see how that those splines are bent. They just beat the crap out of this thing is what they did. New ones are nice and straight. I'm going back to L&M. The uh, overrunning clutch that I bought is the wrong one. I just looked at it and, you know, it's an inch and three eighths by six, but I didn't see the other writing that the, it only accepts inch and one eighth by six. I need a, I need inch and three eighths on both sides. Alrighty, I think we have the right one now. Let's see if we have better luck here. There we go. That thing really seems to work pretty good. She's got the RPMs kind of low right now, but she has never driven the tractor before today. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. That finished mower seems to pull behind there real nice. Seems to cut 
nice and smooth. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot quicker than using the 48 inch Husqvarna, that's for sure. I will see you guys on the next video.